the Hornets hit Brooklyn with this beautiful action literally on the first play of the game. As Lamelo brings it up, we got two screens for him up top. Thing is, both Hayward and Plumlee slip those, while Ball attacks along the right side. This catches the Nets defenders by surprise and the big man finds himself wide open under the basket. So Lamelo finds him with a laser pass and we got an uncontested dunk. Charlotte absolutely stunned the Brooklyn Nets by coming to their place and beating them to start the season at 3-0 for the first time in franchise history. Let me show you some of the reasons for the hot start. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. First of all, we have to start with Miles Bridges. To me, he's been the main guy early on for Charlotte and so far in these three games, he's averaging 25 points per game, which is literally double than his 12.7 last season. You can absolutely see that this is sustainable because of the aggressiveness that he's showing early on. Look at some of these moves when attacking the basket. Dude is expanding his repertoire and is becoming hard to guard at his position. And when you think of Bridges, the first thing that probably comes to mind are his superhuman dunks that almost caused the Hornets announcer to have a heart attack last season. But despite this, Miles was a 40% shooter from downtown last year and it seems like he's keeping up with this pace and even making a step forward. It's logical to try to increase the shots from outside so he's been doing that going from 4 to 6 per game, but at the same time making more so at the start of this new season he's sitting at 44.4%. I believe that Bridges can keep up with this pace and if not above 20 he can definitely average 19 points for the year and with that he'll surely be among the main candidates for most improved player. Next, I wanted to point out the fact that this team plays incredibly fast paced with a lot of passing. In fact, so much so that they're at the top of the league, number 1 with 29 assists per game in these 3 matchups. And you already know who's at the forefront when it comes to this, Lamelo Ball. At this point, you almost expect that he'll do something incredible each and every game. Right here, he drives and at this moment, Ball already sees the wide open Hayward in the corner, but instead of telegraphing that pass, check out how he looks towards Bridges, completely faking out the defense as you can see the help guy going there. The incredible no look pass plus the amazing hang time on the assist as Hayward knocks down the 3. And speaking of hang time, Ridge Wallet, who are sponsoring this video, hooked me up with a wallet so thin and light that it almost floats in the air. Special effects aside though, I love how sleek it is compared to my previous one. In this compact of a size, you can have up to 12 cards and cash, basically everything you need. As you can see, I got the carbon fiber version and I love how stealthy and minimal it is, but if you check out their website, they have all kinds of colors and styles for you to choose from. So click the link in the description and use code HEATCHECK for 10% off. Thanks Rich Wallet for sponsoring this video. Moving on, even when Ball is not in the game, Ish Smith has been great early on in running the point guard position off the bench. With 5.7 assists, it's almost like the team doesn't miss a beat when Lamelo is not in the game. And a lot of people don't know that even though he's older now, Ish is still among the quickest guys in the league, so it's always fun seeing him use that speed and go into attack mode causing all kinds of problems for the defense. In fact, Smith along with Cody Martin started the run that brought back Charlotte in the game against Brooklyn, so Lamelo himself told coach Borrego to ride it out with Smith. I absolutely love this and it shows great maturity and trust in the team from such a young player. This was an incredible move and it paid off big time so I can only imagine how the atmosphere and the team chemistry is for the Hornets at the moment. So yeah, this was the real reason why he wasn't playing in the fourth quarter of a big game. Coach Borrego confirmed that in the post-game press conference. And Melo, I got to give Melo a ton of credit. You know, he wanted us to just, he said, ride out Ish. You know, Ish is hot, Ish is rolling. I trust it, let's go. That's just maturity on his part. He could have easily wanted to get back in that one, but Ish delivered tonight. On the topic of the team, they accomplished their goals of having a deep roster and being long and athletic, especially on the defensive end. Against the Nets, for example, they started Lamelo Ball, Kelly Oubre, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges and Mason Plumlee. This is a very long and versatile lineup that can move quickly, switch and it allows them to get a ton of steals and get up in transition for a lot of easy points. 
Charlotte has been getting 10.7 steals in these three games, which is a ton considering that last season, the league leading team had 9 per game. I know it's early of course, but I have to point out what this team has been doing well on the court. At the end, I also want to give a shout out to Gordon Hayward, who is another guy on this roster having a great start to the season. Of course, with him, the performance is not the main concern as his injuries, so hopefully he can stay on the floor and be another weapon for the Hornets. When you add in the fact that Terry Rozier hasn't even played in two of the first three games, meaning that they're yet to be in full strength, things are looking incredibly promising, right? Now, all of that is great, but of course, it's just three games into the season, and despite this terrific win against Brooklyn on the road, the other two were against non-playoff teams from last year. Cleveland and Indiana are not exactly a measuring stick for success, so I expect things to even out at some point, as I have them in the play-in range, since the entire Eastern Conference got much better and very competitive. Still, this is not a knock on the Hornets, and a clear improvement is evident. They're very interesting, very attractive to watch and will only get better. Question is if they can make that big of a jump this year to make one of the last two playoff spots. However, regardless of what happens at the end of the season, this is one of my favorite League Pass teams to watch and I highly recommend them to you. And yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think happens with this team at the end. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Bridges! Oh my god! Oh! A thunderbolt from Bridges! Let's go! Subscribe, yo! Come on!